Hey, this is a quick story I want to share with you guys in regards to dealing with the significant other of your ex, that be your ex-wife, your girlfriend, um, and especially in regards when children are involved. And um, this story goes back over 20 years ago. Me and one of my good army buddies, Mark, he's deceased now. And uh, we were both young fathers. So we were like in our mid, late, I think mid 20s then. And uh, both had kids. And we were just chopping it up, playing a video game. And I was just running my damn mouth talking about, hey, listen, me and my wife would have split. There's no way in the hell her new boyfriend, a new husband could this with my kids, could whoop them and everything. And Ma looked at me and was like, man, Pooch, look, man, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with it. And I was like, what the hell you mean? He was like, listen, man, if me and me and our girl split up, man, and she got a new guy with her, uh, I probably won't spend more time trying to get to know about the, know the guy. He said, because that guy's going to probably be around my child more than me. And he can have a, a significant impact on my child. So I probably want to make sure he's a good guy and things like that. So if, if it is issues with my son, yeah, he can call me. But some things might be taken care of right now, especially with her. You know, and, and they're serious and everything. Uh, but also, you know, sometimes people get in their feelings. And they say they don't want to deal with this person, meet this person, whoever it is. And that person be trying to damn hurt or screw your kid. So it kind of behooves you to kind of know exactly what's going on. Um, keep in mind, we was in our 20s. So our maturity level was limited in regards to just, you know, parent and looking at life things. But I wanted to share that. King, uh, my man Mark, man, he's a real wise brother, man. And, and I miss him a lot. But that was that was some real stuff what he told me because, again, people spend too much time uh, focusing on, you know, the situation that they apart from just men and women and they feel like okay that's what you're dealing with i ain't got to deal with it but again that person that that new person and they can be uh can have a greater impact on your child than you for the same fact they probably may be around your child more than you so i just want to share that with people because again sometimes we do get in our feelings and you, you can't control how that new person wants to talk to you or not you can't control if your uh your ex wants you to even have a conversation with them or not you can't but if you can, I wouldn't be so closed mind to getting to know that person, know at least what's going on, because you never know what kind of impact or effect or what it can be trying to do to your child, okay? Good and bad, just being straight up. But I just want to share that with you guys, because again, that was just something that me and my dog talked about one time, and it had a, a, a big impact on me was just looking at certain things, because again, my maturity limited because of my age. But I hope that helps you guys uh, out there if you know, you're in a situation like that or thinking about it.